Hi there, I'm Anna Prosser, joining you once again from E3 in the Wargaming.net booth. I'm your hostess for the live stream, as well as hanging out here in the booth, and I am joined by Andrew Simpson, the captain of Team Simp, who is our defending champion team. They're in a tournament, or a show match rather, against teams that are playing them from home online. So Andrew, can you give us a quick rundown for people who may have just been joining us? How have the matches been going so far for Team Simp? Uh, they've been going all right. We won one, we lost one. Um, that's about it. We've only had two so far. And what were the teams you played? Uh, first we played NDP, No Dumb Pubs, and second was Havoc. We lost against NDP, and we just won against Havoc. Give us a quick summary of how the game went. Um, the last one? Yeah. Um, they did something unexpected because with the map we were on and the side they were on, they, most teams go to the west and they went to the east. So they kind of threw us off a little bit, but we got lucky in that we killed their scout, their only eyes, and we were able to control the entire east side, um, get artillery on them, get eyes and shots, and uh, just kind of steamrolled from there. Are you confident that going forward Simp is just going to dominate the competition or are you kind of feeling a little bit scared, like maybe it's going to go back and forth? Oh, I'm always scared. I go into every match with uh, no nerves basically, just shaking and come out even worse. Well, Simp is widely recognized as a very dominant team. What, what do you attribute that to? Why do you guys work so well together? Uh, mostly just because we've been playing a lot of uh, pub matches together a lot. We've uh, platooned a lot. Um, we're very small, so we work together almost every day, and we just got that kind of uh, brotherhood. We know what each other is going to do before they actually do it. So what are some of your training strategies? I mean, what does your practice day look like? Um, the practice day is just jumping into a training room on the map, uh, just driving around, oh, that looks like a nice bush, that's a nice spot. Um, well, what if they come over here? Well, we got eyes over here, we can shoot them, just kind of uh, have fun. And what does your history with World of Tanks look like? Um, we started out as a clan of Penny Arcade. Um, they weren't really serious about clan wars or competitive uh, World of Tanks, so we spun off onto our own clan simp. And you told me a great story about where you got your name, Simp. A lot of people are thinking, oh, it's S-I-M-P, you know, where does that come from? Tell me that story. A lot of people think it's uh, squirrels in my pants. <laughs> but uh, it's actually named after myself because early in the game, I would have a tendency of pulling in front of my friends while they were lining up a shot so I, they couldn't shoot, though they hit me. And uh, it eventually became a verb, stop simping me. And uh, so they decided to embarrass me further by naming the clan after me. And has that been a pervading strategy for you guys? Has simping stayed, you know, something that happens a lot? Uh, <laughs> well, it's been cut down on a little bit, but uh, our mic is dead. Um, it's just uh, fun. You know, we just go out there and have fun. That's it. Great. Well, we're still live on the stream. We just aren't. We were hearing ourselves here in the booth, and now we're shut off. So they're watching some fun trailers, but we're going to keep talking. Um, you know, we were talking about kind of your history with World of Tanks, and you've been you've been doing this quite a while. But maybe some people are just being introduced to World of Tanks. Maybe they've never played before. Can you give us? Um, you know, if, if I'm just downloading the game, what's exciting about it? What should I look for? What should I focus on? Well, World of Tanks is just different from any other game. It's not a fast-paced shooter like Gears of War or Halo. It's a very methodical, slow-paced game that takes a lot of tactics and thinking, um, combining combined forces in different ways to gain the advantage over the enemy and just continue and push that until you're victorious. Um, it's very historically accurate when it comes to the tanks, the speeds, the guns, the armor values. Um, so it's unlike anything else out there in the market. I've heard that a lot of the users are military or ex-military, people who have an interest in kind of these kind of tactics or equipment. Would you say that that's necessary to be to like this game, or can people, you know, not be into that kind of equipment and still be into the game? Oh, not at all. I, I you know, I kind of was a hi military history buff when I was a teenager, but you know, that has no bearing on why I like the game. It's just, it's a fun game. It's uh, competitive. Um, while there are a lot of uh, former military who were drawn to the game because of that. It's nice because it does create a, a wider variety in the player base. Not everyone's a, you know, a basement dwelling uh, teenager. And what is the community like? There are 30 million registered users, so there's quite a few people who play this game. Is that cool to kind of be a part of that? Have you met people through World of Tanks? Well, uh, the six of the guys that I play with, we came out here. I never met them before. Um, we're friends now and we're having a great time. Um, it's just 
it's a great community because they're so varied. Um, you know, whether you're into just the tanks with historical aspects or you're in it for the competition, um, everyone in the game has something different they're in it for, and uh, you know they can find other players to play with who have similar interests. This is the first live event that's ever happened for World of Tanks, I'm hearing. So what what does it feel like to meet these people in person for the first time and to be on a big screen playing the game you love? That's a little daunting. Um, I've never played a video game competitively before like this, so it's a little daunting, but uh, at the same time it's fun. It's just like, uh, I try and think of it like when I played sports in high school. You know, people are watching you, but just uh, have fun. Great. Well, I'm certainly having fun. We're excited about watching you play some more matches, and good luck. Thank you.